G'day everyone and welcome back to Aussie Drams, the channel where you get to hear about whiskies, boilermakers and other such nonsense from me. Today we're going to be tasting the Whiskey Club's August release which is the Westward Rum Cask. This is an American whiskey from Portland, Oregon that's been finished in Guatemalan rum casks. It is a cask strength whiskey coming in at a whopping 62.5%. And I've had a bit of this and it is huge. So let's have a look at it. It is a beautiful golden dark copper color. Not as oily as I thought and sits very nicely in the glass. Let's have a whiff. So on the nose, I immediately get hit with some citrus fruits, some mandarin, some oranges, a little bit of grapefruit. It's a bit of honey, a bit of saltiness, and just a little bit of oak on the end there. Now I really want to taste this one again. Mm. Now coming in at 62.5%, you're going to get an explosion of flavors. The first sip you take is just washes your mouth. And immediately you're going to get hit with a lot of sweetness that coming from that sugar cane, a bit of that molasses. And as you sort of let that run through, and I'm going to take another sip. And as you sort of let that sort of run through and coat your tongue, you're going to start feeling a burnt coconut, a little bit of milk chocolate. So almost as if I'm drinking a bounty. It's just absolutely delectable. Now at this alcohol ABV rate of 62.5%, for me, I get a lot of warming down my, down my throat as I have this one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there and see what that does to open it up. Swell that a little bit. So that sweetness is really mellowed out a bit more. I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit of spice, but I'm getting a lot of vanilla coming through now. Still feeling a lot of that citrus and a lot of that honey coming through. That's really brought that hit down. I'm still getting the complexity of the tastes around the coconut and the chocolate, but now I'm feeling a little bit of um, creme brulee, a little bit of burnt sugar, a little bit of um, sticky brown sugar. Um, on that palette as well. And as it finishes off, it's got like a custard feel. So just as you're, you're finishing a bit of vanilla custard and it's just nicely, gently sitting on the tongue there. So I really enjoyed this one and I really regret not buying two. Now, I mentioned that I got this one from the Whiskey Club. So the Whiskey Club is an Australian subscription whiskey club. And what that means is joining up is for free and every month they um, release an exclusive new whiskey that you can opt out of. So if you don't reply to the email, you'll get that whiskey sent to you. And they're usually about $135 plus about $15 for postage. The great thing with the Whiskey Club is a lot of their exclusive bottlings are exclusive and they're really fantastic. And I'm really glad so I've gotten quite a decent amount of um, really cool bottles from them, but they also do add-ins. So another, you know, extra ones that you can uh, you can add into your order. Um, so coming up next month, they've got an, and someone's going to probably tell me off for the pronunciation here, but an Abelor 14-year-old double cask. And coming in in October, which I'm really excited for, is a Lagavulin 16-year-old that's been finished in Guinness casks. So if you are interested in joining the Whiskey Club, I've got a link down below with my referral code. If you order a whiskey, then you, both, you and I both get a free sampler, so it's a bit of win-win. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to grab this one. I don't know if they've got any more available to use as add-ins. Um, hopefully, as this channel grows, I'll be able to actually share notes about upcoming whiskeys so that you can be ready to actually grab them if, they're, if you're really interested in them. Um, but at the moment, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, I'm looking forward to polishing this one off with a bit of lunch coming up. And as always, if you're enjoying what I'm doing on this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and throw in any comments that you've got. I really enjoy reading them. And until next time, cheers, mates.